Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. This is my series of 24 projects coming out to you two a week all the way through and into December and we're on number 13. And today I have a card for you and I don't really do cards on video um, but my thank you cards this month um, are the Christmas part but my thank you gifts which you'll see on Wednesday are um, not Christmassy so I decided I was going to put a card into my advent countdown series and this is my thank you card and I don't know how well you can see it but what a lovely little bit of shimmer going on there with Wink of Stella which is just beautiful so I have not completed my cards I'm filming this ahead of time as always um, but I prep all of my stuff in advance I've shown you this before I'm working with note cards because they are fast, they're perfect size for gifting and I like to show off our note cards. So these are already pre-cut scored with envelopes and so all I, what I've cut here are the panels and I'm working with presents and pine cones paper. So basically took a pack, chopped it all up and I'll give you the measurements in a minute, um, which are all of these bits here, 200 of them, actually there's 220 of these. And then I worked with the three main colours that are in it, which is the gorgeous Emerald MV, Mint Macaron and Cherry Cobbler. Cut up all of the bits for there, exactly the same number. Then this panel here, I have got all my Whisper White panels ready for me to stamp on. And then again, the same number of panels. So there's the same number of, of small Cherry Cobbler panels as there are the bigger ones. And the same with the Mint Macaron and the Emerald MV. And these are all ready for me to sit and stick together. And all I've got left to do is stick all of them together and do my little bit of stamping on all of the cards. And it won't take me long. And this actually didn't take me very long either. Um, often when I put the pictures of these on my Facebook page, people go, oh, that must have taken you hours. It hasn't. I just stick, I have my tablet PC right in front of me, stick on an old episode of Doctor Who or something like that, and just rhythmically cut. And I use my trimmer. I don't use any big giant cutter. I do have one, but that's only I only use that for paper shares. I actually use our trimmer. Yes, I might go through a blade or two doing this amount of cutting, but I love it. It's a brilliant tool, so I use it. But how to make this card. So our Whisper White note card. So I've got one here. It is already scored, but I'm just going to burnish it down. These measure three and a half by five inches, which in metric... Can't find my ruler now. Where's my ruler? There it is. Oh, it's slipped. In metric, three and a half. So that's nine centimetres by 12.8 centimetres. And I, I kind of just wanted to get a panel out of it that would work. So I decided I was going to go with, I actually started with a sheet of 30 by 30 centimetre cardstock. Um, so this is 10 centimetres by 5 centimetres, which is 4 inches by 2 inches. So that was my coloured base. And then I just decided I was going to chop up everything. So this panel that's going to go on the front, um, I'm actually going to put it this way around. This is four and a half by nine and a half centimetres, which is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths of an inch. I will have everything on my blog. Don't worry about writing it all down. So I cut up all of my pieces, as you can see. And then the panel to stamp on, I took my stamp from the Hollyberry Happiness stamp set, Christmas Wishes Across the Mars, because these are my thank you cards and they're going, they're going all across the UK, but also into Germany, France, Holland and Austria, because I do have people who shop with me from over in those countries. So literally across the Mars, it was a perfect sentiment. Worked out what size I wanted. And for this one, I need six and a half by three centimetres, not very big at all. So it's two and five eighths by one and a half. And this one just half a centimetre bigger and smaller. Uh, bigger and longer seven by three and a half so let's get it all going right hollyberry happiness too cute love this set this is the sentiment i want let me grab a block which block do i want it's not quite long enough we'll go for this one this is a d block and oh i haven't got any ink out <clears throat> oh dear better get that out quick <clears throat> i want cherry cobbler on this because I'm going to do all of my wording stamped the same in Cherry Cobbler, regardless of whatever is in the background. There we go, stamp on that. I do not think that's centred at all. This is what happens when I've got a camera right above my head. That's pretty good, actually. Put that one away. I'm going to clean up my stamp because I'm going to put it back and get another one out. In a second. I love photopolymer stamps, don't you? They're just so easy to work with. Let's start sticking these bits together. So, that one over the top there. This 
this one on here. There we go. Right, so I want to put this one on before I actually stamp my holly leaves. Um, simply because I want to get it positioned and I know how far up to put my holly leaves. So I'm just putting a border that's the same at the top and the side all the way round. Now, grabbing my holly leaves, and it's this one, it's the outside edge. Um, because you can do two-step stamping with this, but I just want this one. On there, I'm going to grab my Emerald Envy, which I also put back. Let's get that out. And then just down at the bottom. So now that I've got that one panel on, I know how far to go up. I'm not worried if it comes down a little bit. Um, but I didn't want it to go too high up. I don't mind if it's covered over a little bit like that one is. Okay, I'm just going to let that um, dry just a tiny little bit. On here, as you can see here, I've got a trio of these. Now, the reason I've done that is because my thank you gift, um, which you'll see on Wednesday, uses up um, the the small, the small, medium and large rhinestones, but then I was left with loads of these strips, and I've got about eight packets of these with the strips left over. And when you cut it like that, because these are all on one long strip, you can pick up a trio. Pop it down at the bottom. That's ready to go on there, so I'm going to snail that and add it on. And just off to one side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Silver Wing Stella, which is this one. Good shake. And I'm going to zoom in because I want you to see this in action, which I'm hoping is going to happen. Not really sure, but you, when you move your Wink of Stella around, it's going to pick up that little bit of green ink from the centre of the holly leaf, and it's going to tint the holly leaf ever so very slightly. And I hope that is showing up on camera. I really do, and it's going to give it a slightly pale green look to the holly leaf and a bit of twinkle at the same time. Because it's just moving that little bit of ink around. Can you see the difference? I really really hope you can because I can definitely see it here and it is just beautiful in real life. I know I'm never going to be able to capture it on camera. I really am not a photographer. Um, but it's just beautiful and it's so so pretty. Can you see that? And it's all twinkly pretty. So let me zoom back out again. I hope you like it. Like I said, I don't often bring cards to a video. But I wanted to show you that because it's festive and it's Christmas and it's just too cute. And if you wanted to take it further, if you wanted to step it up, this has a matching punch, um, which I've got ready prepped for another project, so I can't... Oh, I can reach it. It's got the matching punch, so you could step it up a little bit by putting some holly leaves and stuff. I mean, I didn't, I would have loved to have done it, but the feasibility of doing that for 220 cards was, it was going to take more time than I had. And I wanted to make the card beautiful um, and not sort of rushed and put together, which is what it might well have been. But there's two of them. Anyway, what do you think? As I said, on Wednesday, you will see the thank you gift that goes with it. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.